Hello folks, it's Kane. We are doing a very quick video today on manually installing Darkness Falls because people have asked. I've been meaning to do it, I've just been busy and I forgot. It's as simple as that. So, to start with, let's go to Steam. What you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to make a backup copy of the game. There's two reasons for that. One, if this then updates, the mod will still work. I mean, it should anyway. But we're just being, you know, extra cautious. And two, it allows you to play vanilla or other mods if you want to. So you right click it, you go to properties, you go to local files and you click browse. Okay, so now we have this window just here. So it'll be, my drive is D. So it's Steam, Steam apps, common, seven days to die. Okay, so this is your basic folder. Now, if you have a mods folder, make sure you delete it because so you get a completely clean copy of the game. If you just click uninstall and you have a mods folder, the mods folder will still be there. It will not be a clean copy of the game. I want to make that absolutely clear because people go, oh, I clicked uninstall and then re-downloaded it. It's like, no, that's not clean. Make sure there's no mods folder there. In fact, you could, un you could open this, uninstall the game and then see if this folder still exists. If it does, there's something in here that shouldn't be. So then you just go to that and delete it. So you then go right click, copy, and you put it somewhere else. I'm just going to throw it on here. And you'll just have to wait for that to copy. Now, we also need to download the files, which will be linked in the description. So we open this, which I have prepared. I have two places where it is uploaded, Azure and GitLab. So if you want to download from Azure, you go all the way to here, these three dots, click download a zip. And that should give you a comment what the file name is. Yeah, Darkness Falls A20, I've already got it there. So we don't need to download that. On GitLab, you go to there, click that, click zip. And that gives you darkness-falls-a20-main. So again, I've already got it. So we don't need to do that right now. Okay. Now we've got a copy of the game right there. Go into that. I mean, in fact, what I would do personally is I would rename it. So I would do that A20.2 because it is A20.2 and then I would call it DF. That's what I do. You guys don't have to. Just personal opinion, okay? So you've got your copy. Now, the Azure one, you open it up and it's got mods, Darkness Falls icon, the re a readme, which you don't need, and a server config, right? If you open the GitLab one, which is this one, let me, just, let me put them side by side, you can see there's a difference. This has a folder in it. So if you open this one, you just grab that, 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 and drop it into this folder. If you get the GitLab one, you need to go into this, and then you can see the file structure is the same. So you grab that, 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 and unzip. And it just takes a few minutes. Obviously, it depends entirely on the speed of your hard drive, the speed of your CPU, the amount of RAM you've got. So don't be surprised if it takes longer than this because this machine is stupid. I believe I've mentioned its specs before, so we won't go over that. And there we go, and that's now copying across nicely. So we can close the zip files when that's... I could close that one right now, actually. All right, uh, yes, replace the server config. You don't actually need that. That's just got some pre-done defaults for anyone who wants them, okay? If you don't want them, that's fine, but it's there in case anyone does. So once you've got that, you need to run the game without EAC. So this one, no. This one, yes. In fact, what I would do is send to desktop create shortcut. So you've got your shortcut there, then properties change icon browse and there's darkness falls icon in the folder job done apply okay and they are it's even got a different icon now and that goes directly to the non eac executable file and you run it and all going well we should boot up yes yes go on and we'll just pop open the console when it's done just to make sure Okay, yep, there is all of the patches running. It is done and fine. And that is quite literally how you install Darkness Falls manually with a copy of the game so you can continue to run vanilla or any other mods. So hopefully that's helped anyone who was interested or curious. And hopefully I'll see you for another video. Cheers.